Just drive in Venice, about 100 pounds of boat parts. I gotta find a way to get this stuff to my marina. I'm gonna see if I can hire a water taxi. All right, we got a first class service here. A little more than I was hoping to spend, but I don't know how I'm gonna get all this stuff on my boat otherwise. And it's pretty nice, pretty nice little boat here. Directly to the marina in Venice. Very cool. We got the first class drop off, and there's pickled herring. Da 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 da. Oh, what a great boat. Just how I left her. Let's see the inside. Hopefully, no mold this year. Moment of truth. Last year we had a rat and massive amounts of mold. Let's see what we get this year. Da 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 da. -da. Okay, not bad. Smells like my boat. Super, super duper. Hey, do we have power? Batteries look like they are charged. Do we have lights? We have lights. Oh man, everything everything seems great. We can even, oh my gosh, I have a beer. Oh, so we got a little bit of mold in the fridge. Not much though. Um, really not too bad. I think I might help myself to this guy from the Brobnick Beer Company. A little bit of rust there. Um, oh yeah, okay, we got mold. We got plenty of mold. Don't, don't, don't you worry. There is uh, plenty of mold. Yeah, condensation there. Okay. Not, not horrible. Looks like I can sleep in the, the sheets tonight. The bedding looks fine. A little, a little damp feeling, but not too bad. And up here, the sails look like the bags are okay at least. Watch, I'll see you guys in the morning and we can start working on the projects and cleaning. Day number one in Venice. I just pulled, took everything out of my bags. I brought these massive purple mattress bags my uncle gave me from his mattress. And I brought so much stuff. I gotta I got find a place to put it all on the boat. Uh, but we got some big projects also. The biggest project being installing these engine mounts I brought from the US. Oceanic Innovations provided those for me. These look kind of cool because they're stainless steel. So hopefully they'll last longer than the other ones. Then we got our brand new Lumar winches to install. That shouldn't be too difficult. Lumar also provided those. Thank you guys. And then I bought this uh, DC DC charger so I can charge my lithium battery bank with my um, engine. Uh, I'm having trouble keeping them keeping batteries char charged. So that will be uh, the ne next probably biggest project. Oh, and then I got a new Victron uh, battery battery monitor, which I'm hoping will be a little bit higher quality because I've gone through two of these cheaper ones. Uh, the cheaper ones actually work pretty good. They just, uh, I, don't, I don't have my battery compartment sealed very much and the and the, uh, the shot tends to kind of dissolve in the salt water. I also have new uh, EVA foam for the cockpit uh, seats. And a more powerful shore power charger for European power. Also got two new American flags. So hopefully that should last me until I get back to the US this year. Looking at the hull, I just see a little bit of soft growth there. Doesn't look too bad from the top. We'll have to dive down and take a look. My anchor created some rust stains. We'll have to wash that off. Maybe getting time for a new anchor soon, too. So Lumar has sent us these beautiful Lumar Ocean 30 self-tailing winches. I'm excited to get these installed. First step is getting the old ones off. I left these loose, but they're, they got seized up again, so. see these have had this corrosion going on there and that makes this thing tighten up too much on there. You can also see the textures worn off on these and these have a nice nice good texture so they should hold better. It's about the same size. I think the hole pattern is a little different though so I've got to drill some new holes. sticky underneath for some reason. This is the second set of winches I've put on this boat. So you can see there's already a few holes drilled in there, but hopefully we can reuse at least a few of them. 
The great thing about these with Lumar winches is that you can take them apart without any tools at all. And you can see this design is way better than these ones, because the old, they're old ones, because you can uh, you can adjust the stripper to be wherever wherever you want in the the cockpit. Look at that beauty. That is awesome. Brand new winches. You can see the roller bearings in there. Looking good and clean. So we just gotta mount this bad boy up on our pedestal here. Do any of the bolts line up? That's the question. Let's see. Oh, looks like we got maybe three holes. Three holes line up, so there's two more to drill. These ones are also two-speed winches, which is another upgrade over these, and I, I kind of oversized them, so I should have plenty of power for really strong flying the pole sails and really strong conditions like I like to do. Three new holes, getting a little Swiss cheese. Finally, a project that goes easy. I decide I want this stripper, rope stripper, further off or further in. It's easy to change. Well, let's see. That is awesome. These are going so, so good. They also sent me these uh, really nice uh, winch handles, like the kinds where you press on the top. Look at that. And it looks like these handles will fit in my, my winch holder, unlike this one, which was too fat. So the self-tailing feature is where it is this little uh, rope stripping and cleat thing up here. So what you do is you go a couple times around the winch, then you go over this uh, little rope stripper and then into the, the cleat. Uh, this one also is kind of spring-loaded, which is, I guess, can hold more variety of rope sizes. Normally you would have to pull, have one hand holding the rope and the other hand using the, um, the handle, but with this you can do it all, all with one, one handle like that. That's super nice because I can use my other hand to steer with the tiller or be releasing the other sheet or just kind of holding on uh, if it's, conditions are crazy. So thanks again Lumar and Claire uh, for, for setting me up with these. I think it's going to be one of the nicest things I've got in my boat. Excited to use them for the, the, new, the new season of sailing. That's Foam is taking up a lot of room, so let's start with that. This stuff's been starting to peel up, so we'll just pull it off. Before I put the foam on, I'm gonna knock down this uh, non-skid texture. It's kind of actually coming up in some places, so I might grind the whole thing off, we'll see. Just so I can, or my EVA foam will stick better. So I removed pretty much all the non-skid here. This was a different type. This stuff was, uh, looked like the original molded in non-skid. So I just kind of took off where there was glue left over and uh, that looks okay. So I'm just gonna clean this up and then we can start cutting out our foam. I'm gonna try to make it go all the way to the edge. Last time I had it kind of as a gap and I didn't like that. There's the final result i think it looks pretty pretty slick i experiment with some some little patches right here too see if that makes it get any more comfortable i also got the motor fired up started after a couple tries sounded pretty good my jib is currently on top of the toilet so i think that would be a good thing to get installed next Looks like we got another seized up winch, kind of. Well, not quite seized, but not really turning very well. Have to take this part of guy, this guy apart next. So much mold. We are finding more mold every day, but making. Making progress here. 
I sewed these new fender covers. My other ones got shredded up in the Caledonian Canal and I'm tired of listening to the fender squeaking against the hull. Not a perfect fit, but also not too bad either. Don't really want to spend money on something like that when you can make it myself in like 10 minutes. So we got two of those. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Next video, I try to tackle those motor mounts and then Arlene comes for a visit and then we'll go out back out to sea. Although I want to try to go skiing in the Dolomites. Uh, if anybody uh, is around here wants to go skiing with me, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.